Okay, people, it's Mikko from Finland, and uh, I'm uh, driving back to home to Helsinki. And when I'm uh, driving car, it's good time to practice some English. Okay, but uh, I want a couple of stories, and I want to share it to you because uh, one is a car story. Today I met uh, one of my old friend from Jyväskylä. Uh, I think I saw this guy maybe uh, 10 years ago. Uh, today when I was eating breakfast at uh, Hotel Ilves, this guy came and said hello Mikko and uh, can I remember this, this, this man and I say that of course I, I remember you and uh, uh, when we we were like uh, studying uh, in Yvaskula in university we had uh, uh, we had together some something uh, like we have like we had like a common friends and uh, we had uh, some party and uh, then we talked there and uh, eating breakfast and and uh, then this this uh, man said that uh, he's now doing like job that uh, he's driving a lot, quite a lot of car and he said that it's 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 a problem because when you are driving car uh, you can do like a simple nothing uh, and I mean that when you have like a time to you know and you have like a time to car you have can maybe take calls and uh, listen some audio books or listen music or something but that's that's quite all what what you can do but hey if you want you know uh, learn some language this is so good place you know to take your phone and recording some stuff and uh, that's how telling your day stories and uh, practicing some some language so uh, my today's uh, like a lifetime tip or learning tip is quite simple but it's I don't know maybe it's, it's some kind of good advice for us and for everybody so uh, we always have time to do the most important things and if you decide and you want you know learn for example English and do it like a better way you have time to do it and for example now and today I have took a couple of call, calls with Jacob we had like uh, one or two like uh, uh, work things together and uh, like busy things what we have to do and uh, we talk in English and Jacob will understand me quite well and when, when, I, when I have a when I have a little stress and uh, if I have like a hurry, my English is not so good, but Jacob can understand it. And after this uh, calls, and now when I'm driving car, I I thought that it's good time, you know, practicing and spelling couple of words and uh, and uh, talking to you what I have done and what I will to do today. But. Uh, I'm heading back to home. I'm like, I have like a 40 minutes of something to go, and uh, then I have to relax and uh, take like a, a little bit easier Friday because I have been traveling like uh, three days, uh, three nights, and I'm not going back to home. But that's all, of people, and uh, it's getting my goal is is almost ready so the five minutes English speaking my problem is that I want you know tell some difficult stories and use new words but I don't know I may be so tired right now so I don't have any you know so specific things what I have to what I want to tell you, tell you. maybe that's the reason because I'm so 
tired so uh, maybe I avoid, avoid like the difficult stories so no, I don't have to you know think and worry that I can't remember some some words and sentences and all the stuff but hey it's five minutes over five minutes so that's all and have a nice day or have a nice evening I don't know where you are right now and uh, keep going on and practicing and practicing and uh, someday you will go and uh, make your goals come true so that's all so bye bye <laughs>